So as most of you may remember, in 2021, the General Assembly, um, after a decade fight, um, finally successfully removed the governor from the parole process, which finally eliminated the politicized process of allowing governors to overturn parole positions for Marylanders serving life imprisonment sentences. Um, but unfortunately, there was a drafting error that excluded medical parole, uh, making it the only type of parole to still require gubernatorial approval. Um, and this is serious because it is arguably the most critical for Maryland Parole Commission to be able to act quickly when a parole candidate is um, seriously ill or dying. And so in 2024, the ACLU will work with our allies again to support a technical fix bill. Um, this bill will be sponsored by uh, the vice chair of the House Judiciary Committee, Delegate Sandy Bartlett, and Senator Carter in the Senate. Um, this bill cleared the House in 2022. Um, but was stalled in the Senate. And then last session, it passed the Senate, but was stalled in the House. And so uh, this year, we're advocating to get this bill all the way through um, this next legislative session.